Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Before I hit the record button on this, I uh, I max sigged uh, a champion I've been looking forward to max sigging for a while. And, uh, and then I waited and thought, you know, why don't I record this and just talk about my rank ups? Because there are a couple of champions that I've been waiting to max sig for a while. And you can see I've got 200 and almost 250 plus one sigs between the, those in the overflow and those owned. So Jugs, I wanted to max sig for a while and rank up. Now he's not in my Battlegrounds deck right now, but I think there are so many metas where he will be. And for that matter, Red Mags as well. So both of those now max sig. And you might say, he doesn't need it. Yeah, I know, but max sig is max sig. And then when I scroll down, the champion that I care about max sigging the most, that again, so I'm going to have Tigra. Look at that. I'm going to have Tigra max sig. Again, she is in my Battlegrounds deck. I want max sig for everybody in my Battlegrounds deck. Then the champ that I'm slowly, and I know you might say Quicksilver, maybe, someday, maybe he'll get the generics for a while. But the champion that I care most about max sigging is somebody that could almost do it. To Sig 191, and that's Toad. So I've started out by putting as many Sigs as I can into the champions that I care about Sig most. And I'm thinking, because I'm on the hunt for Kindred next, okay? I'm thinking Kindred is who I want to max Sig eventually. So that is the plan eventually. But for now... Speaking of Quicksilver, my newly ascended Falcon will certainly help with that. For now, I got the preparations to max sig another skill, six star. And it's a six star that has become so incredibly valuable for me in so many ways. And that's Baron Zemo. Now, I'm still not the best with him, but he is an attacker that I use. I mainly use special twos. I'm not even sure if that's... The best way to use him, I just like to root the opponent. I used him against Void and won in Battlegrounds last week. And he's one of those defenders that, yes, if you have a Domino or some of the other best attackers, you can do good damage. But also, if you make a mistake, and certainly if you count on parrying or block damage, you're going to regret it. So it does take a higher level of skill, most certainly, to fight Baron Zemo than it does other champions. So I am going to rank him up and again put my items where my mouth is as I try to do on this channel in all ways. And I just have to say and I have to say it every time. I could not could not do this without you all. I mean, you're the reason why my channel exists. You're the reason why I've done this for six years. You're the reason why I pour so much blood, sweat, and tears, quite literally and figuratively, into my account. And um, I'm just very blessed. And the day that I lose perspective on that is the day that I don't deserve to have a channel. And I'm very conscientious of that. And there he is. He actually went to 26,220. And that would be another champ that I'm sure at some point I'll look at the Ascension and think, uh, Zemo might be an option. But to be honest, the next champ that I ascend will probably be Absorbing Man. Because I think he is the best overall Mystic Champion now. Better than Doctor Doom. Better than Black Widow Clairvoyant. Um, Mystic Spidey. So many others. And look, this Mystic class has gotten a lot better. I think champs like Tigra have made it so much better. But Absorbing Man is still... Even when you have Tigra or somebody that counters him well. It's still not somebody that you can relax and take for granted on defense. Because if you don't fight well, you will lose. And then on top of that, I, I love using him as an attacker against Hulkling, primarily. 
I've learned uh, as my roster has developed that he is just a much better attacker than I gave him credit for because I needed to learn him. And I'm not saying I've mastered him by any means because I haven't, but he's somebody who can help you uh, in, believe it or not, some fights of Necropolis. It's kind of crazy, even for that path one. So, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a believer, and I'm going to put my Tier 2 Primordial Dust where my mouth is because when I purchase the Valiant Bundle, eventually, and I will, live on YouTube during one of my broadcasts, the 6,000 Summer Bundle, we will open the, the Titan Crystal, but then I will ascend Absorbing Man as well. And I, I'm really excited to save that Rank 4 to 5 Rank Up Gem on either Silk or or kindred believe it or not that's uh that's where my thoughts go and then um this would be kind of a a fun thing to use if you saved it for kindred but i'm gonna try to get silk out of it and see if i can have any luck so that is the thinking the funny thing is the awakening gem the six stones are exciting but the awakening gem not so much um all right youtube Woo! It's Baron Zemo's market. It's Baron Zemo day. Who would have thought it?